and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Noxus Elusives. This is our champion list Elusives deck with uh, Noxus and Ionia. Pretty strong deck here. We're only making one change since the other two times that we've played it. We're taking out the third Twin Disciplines and playing a third Retreat instead. So we get those big brain plays with Retreat. That's what chat said. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing there. Uh, I wouldn't mind a sixth one drop with getting another Precious Pet in here. Um, maybe that should be the third Retreat, should be that third Precious Pet. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just going to be uh, winning with our Elusives, you know, going with our Green Glade duos, Navori Conspirator, Shadow Assassin, Solitary Monk, especially Solitary Monk, big part of our deck hitting very hard. Try and get as much damage as we can with the Elusives. And finish games off with Noxion Fervor, Decimate, um, Legion Grenadier, getting that block and, and that damage. And then our combo of Crimson Disciple, Imperial Demolitionist. And especially Demolitionist. This is a big part of our deck because um, we can we can cast a whole bunch of Demolitionists. We've done that before. We've played like six or seven Demolitionists in one game because we just have like we had like two Demolitionists and we had two Conspirators that picked them up and then like a Retreat pick it up. You know, maybe you have your Solitary Monk pick it up. Lots of things you can do with that. All right, so that's our deck. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. And we're going to try for that 4-1 again. Because it looks like today is Rank Up Sunday. Aggro decks 4-1 all day. But we're probably going to go like 1-4 and four <laughs> and make up for it here. That would be my guess. All right, I like these three cards, so I will keep them. I don't like that we're not attacking on turn two. My plan is Green Glade Duo on turn two, turn three, play Crimson Disciple, and then attack, and then we'll have Transfusion available on turn three as well. Uh, since we'll have the one, one mana banked. Yeah, we d don't want to blow the 4-1 lead. Uh, I guess we're playing this instead. Playing this means I don't have Transfusion on turn 3. But a fight is a cooking. Plans have changed. Rude. We're never like blocking against a misfortune deck is not really that uh, likely. Oh, come on. Well, good news is they spent three cards to deal with two of mine. That's the good news. Oh, I can't wait. They're just quick passing. You're covered. Steel Protector is going to stop us, it looks like. Is that all? Feed Demacia. Let me show you. <clears throat> all right, got to get eleven more damage in. A lot of damage. No. 
nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. A misfortune would... Hey. Like, if they did have a misfortune, you know, we'd be able to block with, like, Crimson Disciples. Uh... That doesn't scare me. Nothing. Make me do it. I wasn't planning on doing it. But you're gonna make me. Now both of these things have two two health. So we can attack into them fairly easily with, with everything. Which is why I went for the war shafts, because I had three health. They block Crimson Disciple, Crimson Disciple. We do three, four, five, six, seven damage to them. Just don't want to play Shadow Assassin and then they play like a Quinn, right? Like they play Quinn and then it's like makes my attacks a lot worse. <clears throat> so this is us doing seven, putting them down to two. Dang. Got a lot of spells over there. Run while you can. Oh, this All right, they're still at three. And this is where we draw a Noxion for her. Or Decimate. Blade Scout. The dead don't need riches. Looking for this. Okay, hopefully we can just attack for four. one yeah Tarkaz should hit the Nexus too <clears throat> I like that I like that that'd be good Tarkaz hit Nexus also yeah that'd be good Ooh, this is going to be a tough matchup. Probably the best performing deck number-wise. Stats-wise, the Callista Elise deck. I shouldn't even play that here. Yeah, that was that was not good. I should not even play that. Yeah, I should have played that. Okay, yeah. So aggro decks are decks that are um, that are really aggressive and trying to win the game before the opponent. Uh, has the ability to you cast all their cards and uh, and stabilize. Control decks are tr are the opposite. They're trying to win a, a really long game. They're trying to just stabilize, make the game go a lot longer, stay alive, and then win the game with big, expensive 
game breaking spells. And the mid-range decks are in the middle. They can, um, they're either going to be the aggressive deck against control, or they'll be the control deck against aggro. So they're versatile, um, depending on the situation. Leveled up Callista. All we want to do is survive and not have any Green Blade duo die. Like the two Green Blade duos will easily do 11 damage next turn. I wouldn't mind them going straight to attacks. Turn six mana, so one, two, three. Please don't have removal. Ugh. That's removal. We're still fine. We can still do nine damage pretty easily. They don't have another removal spell. Just don't have another one now. So no, no atrocity is good. And we get to get the Conspirator in play, which is good for our transfusion. Got it. Attack for nine. They're at nine. Boom. Two and oh. GG's. Yeah, glad they didn't have like. Obviously, yeah, Withering Whale would have completely destroyed us. They don't usually have Withering Whale. Oh, this can be a tough matchup. This is going to be a tough matchup.
basically thinking that they're gonna have a whole bunch of removal spells and like make it like make it rains and twisted fates, that kind of stuff. The thing that's good here, um, the thing that's good is that they are slower, presumably, and with a slower game it would give us more chance to to burn them out, presumably. Yeah, I just I do five games for each deck, uh, basically like for for YouTube. Like I think that's a good a good length uh, for the YouTube videos. It's usually like around an hour to play five games. Um, whenever I first started playing this game, I was doing ten games, and it was like two hour videos, and uh, people thought those were too long. Let me show you what I can but do. also, this game this game's a pretty difficult one to play, and. And can really take a lot of, um, really takes like a lot of mental capacity to play. Oh, so, um, it's tough playing more than like 20 games in one sitting kind of thing. Uh, you do get pretty, pretty mentally tired. There's no, there's no like time off, <laughs> you know. Kind of feels like they're maybe thinking about playing Ezreal, but not sure. What it felt like. Yordle Grifter? Nope. I guess that's what they were thinking about doing. Well, they probably got a lot of good cards from us. We have, we do have a lot of good cards. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Any cost, you say? Really doesn't matter which way I go, it's the exact same either way. I guess this way only does the two damage. I guess this way only does the two damage to them if this trade happens. the reset I'm always up for a round or two hold it partner let me show you what I can do maybe I should play conspirator and pick this up oh why didn't I attack Yeah. Probably could have done that better. That's okay. They have four cards of mine. No, they have. They played the Grenadiers. So they have three cards of mine. Remember the objective. For duty. 
I'd be a lot more scared doing this without having transfusion. Um. Just two out of eight. And they have they have one of my cards left, and the rest are theirs. Um. Tread lightly, strike hard. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Fair enough, so that's so that should be the last card of mine that they have. Time for a true display of skill. Should be. I was going to I was gonna pick up Stay safe. I'll um, take it from here. I was gonna pick up the that that uh four two. Petty officer. them down to six. If I bounce Powder Keg, this happens, they go down to six, and I have a Decimate and a Noxion Fervor in hand. Um, but then, then they get to attack and create a Mystic Shot and kill my Demolitionist. Nothing else in play right now, but they will be at six. I don't really know of any life gain that their deck would have. Hmm, okay. That level up as. Oh, it's still counted as leveling up Ezreal even though the other one was dead? Even though even though that thing was dead, it still gave them a level up. It's unfortunate. That's gotta hurt. A 
11 mana. 8, 9, 10, 11. Everything's better with company. So I can do everything. Hey, Sanjo. No sweat. I mean, I'm at three anyway, and they have a leveled up Ezreal. I can't really beat Obstacle, removal spells too much anyway. stuff had to go for it and we got there three and oh that was close okay speaking of team out emotes we have one of my favorite decks to play Puff cap plunder that's what I call it at least Yeah, one one win, one lose to go. It's 4-0, but you wouldn't mind a 5 -0. It's 4-1 day, but you wouldn't mind a 5-0. Okay, well, we'll try. We know at the very least... Uh, at the very least, we're going to have a winning record. You know, 3-2. and two. We're 15-3 and three today. So at worst, we'll be 15-5. and five. That's a pretty great rank up Sunday. <laughs> so not will says this is going to be an easy win. I have a hundred percent win rate against this deck, and we had an awesome hand, and the opponent conceded. <laughs> he said, "Told you, easy win." <laughs> I mean, we had an awesome hand. We were going to win that game. I See, I don't like counting counting that as a win. Nor, like, I don't like just writing down 4-0 when we didn't really do that much, but we were definitely going to be winning that game. <laughs> I could, uh, by definitely, I mean, like, you know, 80%, 90%. Like, our hand was awesome. But it's unfortunate we didn't get to see it play out. That's too bad. Whoa! Shermie with a huge, huge host. Dang, welcome everybody. <laughs> Pure skill. Um, all right, we are going for the elusive 5-0, pun intended, with Noxus elusives. It's not easy to get 5-0s. Uh, we, we've had a great aggro Sunday today, though, so far. A whole bunch of wins. Yeah, we're like <laughs> three and a half O. Oh. Hey, Kratos, it's doing great. It's going great. A good Sunday. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there today. All right, so another aggro deck. They're going to have their own elusives as well, but then they have um, they have the champions. Those champions are pretty strong. I'm going to actually not play Conspirator because of that, because they, they have their own elusives. 
I don't think this is really a conspirator matchup. We we don't get as much conspirator value with our deck um, as like with Omen Hawk and cards like that. Smell that? Um, our deck code. Man, War Chefs is so good. That's our deck code. Do not fear the shrouded path. Do I have to just noxion fervor and try to kill Zed? Just kind of have to do that. It's, it's a bummer. I wish we didn't have to, but we kind of do. I walk my path alone. You don't always get what you want. I need no weapon. Good elusive attack. And now we kill them next turn. That's my plan. You're covered. Hand to the face. You made that block easy. I guess that's why. So they need they need their own elusives to stay alive, which I guess they could have. Time for faith. They don't have it. Five and oh. There we go. Got the five zero. -oh. This is a real fast video. Let's play one more. Let's just play another one, even though we already got the 5-0. So I'm, all I'm doing is it can only go downhill <laughs> from here. But yeah, because that, that previous game really wasn't much. So we'll see if we can get an even more legit 5-0. <laughs> Your OCD is triggered that's not 4-1. Uh, Targrek, uh, Tuesday. Or wait, see, wait, no, no, maybe, wait, the Pursuit deck? Maybe Monday. I don't know, do, do you have a preference, Monday or Tuesday? I could do it either either day. Do you have a preference? You can do uh, whatever you want. All right, well, this is the worst hand that we've had out of the six games. Yeah, had a good day with aggro today for sure. But getting a bonus game with that big raid coming on in, we gotta gotta get a bonus game in here. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. The dark beckons. Drop it in hot. They have their own blocker for Green Glade Duo. That's not cool. Sleep is for the 
guiltless. Red lighting, strike hard. Yeah, this game's not looking the best for us. It's too late for you. Real good hand for them, you know, Blade Twirler on two, and then the Sentry, now they have Yasuo, I mean, it's certainly the ideal hand. Master. So I think I want to cast Fervor. Do I do three damage to them or do I kill Blade Twirler? I guess I kill Blade Twirler. No, we don't have any denies. Triple double checking. Nope, no deny. Something's never done. I'm really glad they didn't have um I mean I, I just lose if they have if they have the thing that stuns all the things with four power or less I just lose I'm, I'm just not playing around it so I would just lose to it Intimidating Roar, that card. You have taken a dark path. You never did believe me. Um, they are tapped out. I guess basically tapped out. Um Normally we'd play retreat and everything, but I guess I'm just gonna let that let the other one happen. They are basically tapped out. And there we go. All right, so a more legit 5-0. If we don't, if you don't want to count that fourth game, an even more legit 5-0. Well, that was a pretty great rank up day. Um, where did we start? We started like around 600, I think. And remember, the, this ranking system's kind of wrong, so we're actually not 273. We're like a win above 273, right? Because of how the ranking system's bugged. So we're like, you know, I don't know, 230 or something like that. Yeah, it was like 5.5 and 0. Um, and, uh, cause yeah, we had, we had like one or two other games during these where like opponent kind of got disconnected or other things that we didn't count as wins that they counted as wins towards our ranking up. So definitely a pretty great job. All right. But then we have, we have meme tier Monday tomorrow. So, <laughs> you know, meme tier Monday is where we're going to be. We have like the. Uh, let's see, we have like a Pursuit of Perfection deck, we got in Infinite Mushrooms, we have a Poro deck, a Snapvine deck, um, a Stefan Overwhelm, a Marauder, a Legion Marauder deck. Um, I have all of those, and then uh, Troop of Elnux and Back Alley Barkeep. We have a lot of donation decks to play for Meme Tier Monday, so we're going to be taking up Monday and Tuesday with that. So we'll we'll make sure our, our rank's too high right now. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll get our rank back down a little bit. And then yes, patch notes are going to be revealed on Tuesday and then implemented on Wednesday. That's that's uh, the patch notes. It'll be interesting. We know it's going to be 20 plus cards are going to change, which I honestly didn't expect that much. Um 
Yeah, I really didn't expect 20 plus cards to change. Uh, that's that's what they said uh, during the the last um, article that came out a couple of days ago. Anyway, that's Noxus Elusives uh, about our deck. Uh, it's good. This deck's really good. Yeah, like this. Uh, we've this is the third time I've played this deck. I think I went four one both of the other two times playing it. I think I went four one four one if I remember correctly, which I may not be, but. Uh, I think we went 4141 the other two times. So yeah, this is just a strong deck. You get to do a lot of cool little tricky things. The elusives are good. Um, yep, almost the full 4-1. Yeah, if you want the link to the news, just do exclamation point news. That's their news site, playrunterra.com slash news, I think. You may have to do slash the, your language, but playrunterra.com and then you, that will get you there. And then you just go to the news part. <clears throat> uh, which deck counters Callista, Tempo, Endure? I don't know if there's like a, a huge counter to that deck. Uh, I think this deck does f decent against it. We we beat it, but it's super close. Um, but you have like the elusives to uh, kill them where they don't get to block kind of thing. So like maybe this deck. Um, yeah, uh, but I don't... I don't think there's like one specific deck that like wins against it 80% of the time kind of thing. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's it here for Noxus Elusives. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you thought about Aggro Sunday today. Um, if you have any anything that you want to see change, that you think that they'll change with the patch notes, you know, leave those comments. I uh, love seeing those comments from y'all on YouTube. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.